Welcome back. We've done about all we can here. So, let's head back into town. And we saw earlier that Madeline is on the tour of Magdala. So, let's see if we can still find her there and talk to her. Of course, Prince James's car is here, because we know he arrived. It's Prince James's car. We sure didn't expect him to show up. That... Uh, that's Larry Sinclair's car. He must be visiting Prince James. I guess so. Can we go inside? I think I'll let Gabriel deal with Prince James. Okay. Because we'll have to wait until the next time block, then. So we'll continue with our original plan, go up the Tour Magdala, talk to Madeline. I'm sure Grace will be very happy to do that. She's always delighted to see uh, Madeline, after all. I'd rather not. I've heard that shade of red dye can cause permanent optical damage. <laughs> okay. I'll try talking to her without looking at her, then. I'm sure that won't be awkward. Well, well, well. Looking for fresh meat? Oh, I thought you were somebody. It's quite a drop, isn't it? If you're afraid of heights, Petite, you shouldn't climb so high. Well, I guess you wouldn't have to worry much about heights, would you? I don't worry about anything. Where are the boys, by the way? They're around. Then I'm sure they'll find me. Okay. Still catty as ever. I'd rather groom rats. Ah, sorry. I don't know of any rats in this game. And rats tend to be pretty good at grooming themselves, anyway. Um... What the hell am I talking about? Okay, well that didn't give any points, but it's just for fun. Head back to the hotel. And let's not walk the hallway. Je regrette. The maid, she gets no answer when she knocks. Monsieur Knight must be out. Merci beaucoup. I'll try again later. Gabriel still isn't back? Hmm. Grace! James, hello. It's nice to see you again. I was trying to find Gabriel. Um, he's out in the valley, I think, working on the case. Has he found anything? I think so, but he better tell you himself. I see, all right. I'm staying at the Villa Bethania. Some people were kind enough to offer it. Will you ask him to come by as soon as he gets back? Of course. Grace, thank you. Okay. Um, can we talk to Emilio? Hello, Mr. Baza. Have you been out today? Oh, here and there, Ms. Nakamura. Here and there. Um, well, we know he went to, uh, Poussin's tomb. Ugh, what's the point? No one tells me anything around here. <laughs> exactly. So is Poussin's tomb here or there? That's the question. Seems we can talk to uh, Jean about the treasure. Jean, I've been working on the location of the treasure. Do you have any insight? Oui, mademoiselle. Get a life. Okay. Thanks. Very helpful and very tactful. That's not what we're used to from you, Jean. Anyway, we have prints to scan and match. And although you'd think it's not really a big deal, since we already saw who handled the manuscript, so we have a pretty good idea who these prints belong to anyway, 
this is something you do kind of need to do. Because if you don't, you're going to miss an awful lot of points. And you need to do all three of them, of course. Of course, you'll get points for actually scanning the prints and for matching them, but you'll miss even more points later if you don't do this. I'll point it out when it happens. It's not very far away, so it might even be in this video. Okay, let's match those prints. BLD, I guess bloodlines. Working. I kind of don't like this because it's such a pointlessly long animation. And we're going to have to do it three times. And you can't skip this. Bukele, the sneak. Okay, well we knew, of course, that Bukele was one of the people uh, who handled the manuscript. Also, why do both Grace and uh, Gabriel mispronounce his name and both do it differently? That's kind of weird. Well, I guess the other two are Madeline and Mosley, but which is which? Working. Good thing Gabriel got Mosley's print of um, that bottle, even though Grace thought it wasn't necessary. Uh huh. Madeline had her hands on the manuscript. Because otherwise, we would not be able to verify this. So this one should belong to Mosley, unless there was a previously unknown person who also handled the manuscript. I guess they could belong to Larry, or Gabriel, or Grace. They also all handled the manuscript. Mosley! But no, it's... Uh, was right. It's Mosley. So that pretty much tells the tale of the manuscript. Mosley took it from our room, Madeline took it from his room, and then Bukali took it from her room and then buried it. For some reason. Perhaps we'll find out why. The linking thing, I don't think you get points for that, but... Anyway, we know who all the prints belong to and that's the important part. I've only got one more stanza, Capricorn. I am aware of the scent of the perfume which impregnates the sepulchre of the one I must release. Cursing the profane in their ashes and those who follow their ways, I return from the darkness while making a gesture of horror at the abyss into which I had plunged. Here is the proof that I knew the secret seal of Solomon and had visited the secret places of the queen who watches over the king. They must be talking about going down into the cave. Take heed, my friend. Do not add or take away one iota. Think, and think again. The base lead of my words may contain the purest gold. Let he who has the understanding use it with wisdom. Hello? Hey, Mose. You're back. Yep. Gabriel and I... <laughs> we had it out. You did? Uh-huh. Guess my little secret is, uh, out in the open now. Huh. Is Gabriel here? I've had some real breakthroughs with Sydney. Yeah, he wanted me to come get you. He's holding a meeting in the dining room. A meeting? Well, this ought to be interesting. Indeed, it ought to be. I'm gonna have an uh, Agatha Christie-style meeting in the dining room. Too bad Hercule, Hercule uh, Poirot couldn't show up. He is French, after all. Um, anyway, it's the start of 3 p.m. Let's see uh, what Gabriel has to tell everybody. What's up? Just a minute, Gracie. Why don't you take a seat? 
All right. Fun time's over. I want to know what's going on, and I want to know now. I have no idea what you mean. No, I. Then let me give you a clue. Earlier today, I had a certain unpublished manuscript in my room. Someone took that manuscript, and that someone was. Okay, and we're gonna have to choose. Fortunately, we saw all of this, so we know it was Mosley. Mosley. Shortly afterwards, it was stolen from the first thief by. Madeline, of course, who took it from Mosley's room. Madeline Boothane. The second thief couldn't hold on to it either. It was stolen for the third time by. And that was Bukeli, of course. You can also choose Baza and the hotel staff, or I don't know. I don't think it will impede your progress towards the end of the game if you get any of this wrong, but it will definitely cost you points. Victorio Buccelli. And the third thief disposed of it by. And Grace, of course, witnessed this: that Buccelli buried it. Burying it. Really? Yep. But this is slanderous. You cannot prove a word. Uh, yeah, he can prove it. Every one of you left Prince. Santacello. Mailed. I admit it. I did take the manuscript, but I didn't do it for my own personal gain or anything. I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm CIA. Aha! That explains it. Outrageous! God, Mose. Congrats. Thanks. Good for him. Mademoiselle Boothane, what's your excuse? I do not know what you mean. Don't you? Let's consider the fact that you have way too much equipment for a tour guide. But I am technically minded. And lethal. My guess is French Internal Secret Service. You are much too smart for your own good. Oh, and you, Signore? Or should I call you? Father, it is not illegal for a priest to travel without a collar. Oh, but you're not just a priest, are you? You came on a train from Rome, yet you lied. You said it was Naples. Why tell such a pointless fabrication unless you were hiding something? Like the fact that you're with the Vatican. That is not a crime either. But stealing manuscripts is. Perhaps. It is time for you to reveal your secrets, Gabriel. Sure. I'm a private investigator. I'm here about the kidnapping of Prince James of Albany's infant son. James Stewart's son has been kidnapped. When did this happen? You really didn't know, either of you. No. Certamente no. I came only to report on any activity in the area. The Vatican feels that there are certain、uh, subversive parties who are trying to fabricate stories. Perhaps even go so far as to to stage certain finds, plant material. Naturally, the church is anxious that anything of the sort be prevented and exposed. Perhaps you are right, Signore, but we believe that there is something buried near Rain le Chateau. That's why you were given this assignment. I have been watching Rain le Chateau for a few years now. There are certain political interests involved, interests which might not be working for the long-term stability of the present French government. Besides, if there is an archaeological discovery to be made here, such findings should be controlled by the French authorities. We want to make sure nothing gets smuggled out without our knowing. I thought you needed excavation permits to do any serious digging. Hypothetically, but several parties have applied for permits. We can only deny them for so long. Mose, the CIA thinks there's something going on over here with the Freemasons, the Priory, and the Knights of Malta. You name it. We've got to make sure our interests are being protected. You know, the good old U.S. of A. Well, they、uh, they sent me on a tour as a kind of an audition, I guess. They didn't want anybody with legit CIA credentials, you know, anyone who could be traced. But I'll probably be starting full time when I get back. And the digging, Monsieur? Oh, intelligence got that tip from somewhere. I was、uh, just supposed to, you know, check it out. So it was the CIA who infiltrated our computer system. <laughs> We thought it was the Priori. 
It is not the first theory we have had, I am afraid. Our cipher experts work on it when they can. And it appears this was another failed attempt. Right, monsieur? I sure didn't find anything. And now we can go, yes? I assume you have not found your kidnapper among us? Doesn't look it. You were very masterful. But, uh, you have not gotten everything from me yet. Perhaps you should come by my room and try a little harder, hmm? And I always thought the idea of chastity belts was cruel and sexist. I finally get it. <laughs> I doubt they invented one strong enough for Madeline. Thanks for finding the manuscript. Where was it? Bukele buried it out in the valley. I saw his moped from Blanchfort. Good job, Grace. As usual. Prince James is at the Villa Bethania. He wants to see you. I bet. And there's some real progress on the treasure. With Sydney, I was able to... I'll, uh, come up later, okay? Huh. <laughs> Suit yourself. All right. Great going there, detective. And Mosley CIA? Good for him. He's not as pathetic as he was made out in this game. And, um, that means we finally know what was going on with Mosley and Madeline, and also what Bukele is doing here. And we've also discovered that Estelle, Lady Howard, and Wilkes were all genuine tourists hunting for treasure. Which um, basically only leaves Emilio as the only unknown in our tour group. And of course, um, Montreux as one of the prime suspects in this area. We have at least established that neither of these three had anything to do with the kidnapping. At least we got the uh, manuscript back, which is something that I am certain that... Uh, Prince James will be very happy about, and we should go and see him about that. Also, um, not only did we get points for uh, answering the questions correctly, if you get all of the questions correctly and matched all three prints, you get 20 bonus points. So that's what I meant by saying that if you uh, didn't match the prints, even if you saw all three thieves, you would miss out on a lot of points. Of course, that requires you not just to get the manuscript back and find the prints on them, but also to find the prints for all three suspects. Again, I do think you can finish the game if you don't do any of that. You just won't have any idea what was going on with these three. I kind of like having that kind of optional stuff. It lets you get more info, but isn't necessary. I do appreciate your returning the manuscript, Mr. Knight. If I'd known what Mr. Sinclair here was up to, I wouldn't have taken it in the first place. <laughs> well, what's done is done. But I think it's time we had a serious conversation. Absolutely. Okay, time to um, talk to Prince James about stuff. The man in the middle is Mesme, by the way, who also appeared in the graphic novel way back at the start. Do you consider yourself to be a bloodline descendant, Prince James? Well, it may sound foolish to you, but a belief in our lineage and the responsibility that it brings has been the motivation behind everything the Stuarts have done for centuries. You see, we take our heritage very seriously. Yeah, no doubt about that. So, you think the kidnapping is a response to Sinclair's manuscript, to its positioning you as the head of the bloodline. It's not just the manuscript, but... but... yes. Have you received any demands from the kidnappers, or...? No. Look, I'm willing to give up my claim forever, if that's what they want, as long as my son is safe. But we don't even know who to contact to make such a concession. The Priory swears they're not responsible, and no one else has come forward. My God! I'm at the end of my rope! Perhaps it's not political. If I let myself even consider that it might be the the knight 
visitors. I can't imagine what they would want with... with... <laughs> I'm sorry. I know how awful this is. What are these negotiations between the Freemasons and the Priory about? Because of our common heritage, there's certain wisdom and property that's shared. And now that the dispute over the bloodline heir is coming to a head, these things must be settled. You're trying to get permits to excavate out here, aren't you? I don't know where you heard such a thing. But I admit we have been hedging our bets, in case negotiations go badly. What kind of property do the Freemasons have? We have a few of the treasures that have always been sacred to the descendants of Moses. Like what? The Ark of the Covenant? Something like that? I'm not at liberty to say, but the bloodline treasures are dispersed. Whoever takes the mantle, in the end, will want them. All of them. Hmm. What about the Priory? What do they have that you want? The Priory controls the treasure the Templars couldn't take with them to Scotland because it was embedded in the very landscape. The treasure of Rennes le Chateau? Yes, but they're not to touch it until we've agreed on a treaty. You see, we have things they want, too. Does the grapevine motif mean anything to you? Viticulture in general? Yes. The wine of communion represents the blood of Jesus, and the grape represents his body. And the grapevine, in some circles, represents the disposony, the house of David. Uh, you have heard Jesus called the fruit of David, I assume. Of course. Where did you see such a motif, Mr. Knight? Oh, it's, uh, it's in the church. What about my son, Mr. Knight? I'm willing to tell you certain things, but please, have you learned anything new? I've narrowed it down to a few suspects. In fact, I was going to follow up on that right now. Very well. Mesme and I will continue our own efforts. We'll see you back here this evening, then. Absolutely. And, uh, try not to worry. I do appreciate your tenaciousness, Mr. Knight. Yeah? I've had shots for that, but uh, never mind. Um, I'll see you. What an extraordinary man. Okay. I wonder why Gabriel didn't tell him where he really saw the grapevine motif. Maybe he doesn't want them interfering with the negotiations. At this point, it certainly wouldn't help if they were to contact Montreux themselves. And I guess we should follow up on uh, Montreux. After all, he is our lead suspect at the moment. I mean, Emilio is weird, but I have a feeling he's not really evil or involved with the kidnappings per se. But whatever we're going to do, we'll have to do it in the next video.